When we speak about Northeast India, it is a wide variety of people, people with plenty of cultures, traditions, colors, and beauty in every aspect of it. You know, the history of Holy Cross in Northeast India can be traced back from the time of the founder, its founder himself, in 1853 when he took the Bengal mission. I am standing right in front of the river called Barak Valley. And this place is very significant for the congregation of Holy Cross because the Holy Cross fathers used to come here through the river and they established a mission here. Today, Holy Cross province in Northeast India is serving four states of uh, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Tripura, and of late Arunachal Pradesh, our newest mission at the close to the China border. Perhaps we are assisting something like uh, over 6,000 students in spread over in our schools, hostels, and, and parishes. Conference uh, serving in the field of education, parish ministry, social apostolate, bring good news to the people of Northeast India. Holy Cross province in Northeast India can be well described as a place of missionary endeavors. We bring evangelization to people, giving them the good news of Jesus Christ, telling them who Jesus is and how Jesus can make a difference in the life of people. Family is our strength and we have many more families joining the Catholic community, not as individuals but as families and that is our strength that we hope many more families will be united in prayer and that will make our church the strength for the future. Northeast is a multicultural uh, situation in which uh, there is lots of uh, violence, lots of differences, but in all these things we are able to bring some sort of peace into their families, peace into their own lives. We educate our children for to live in peace and harmony in the, in the future. So we have got peace clubs have been formed, we have got a competition, we have got Syllabus has been formed in view of imparting peace in the minds of our children. Also, we have got promotion of culture. We have got skit plays, role plays, wherein we have a group of people who go around and perform in order to bring in a attitude of peace among both the communities. In many ways, Holy Cross mission can be described as frontline missionaries. Frontline missionaries would mean that uh, we go to a place in which we see there is a lot of enthusiasm and eagerness from the part of the people who want our assistance, who wants our support. In other words, we would say, who want us to walk along with them. And in that walking process, we, we are uh, so confident that providence of God helps us in that process. All this entire area is surrounded by numerous tribal or indigenous people who are looking to us church, to us Holy Cross, who would bring them some hope in their life, in their illiteracy, in their health, fear, in their socio-economic development, all that. And we have found that education is one of the best means to reach out to these people. Holy Cross Fathers has a special interest in this area because this area is uh, so much deprived of educational facilities. And in order to give them a very good education facilities, Holy Cross Fathers in the Northeast started this institution. And we are here, our main motto is to integrate uh, all section of the uh, people in the society. The students also are coming from different communities like Riyang community, uh, Jamatya community, Tripuri community, and uh, Garo community. So it's a kind of confluence of different communities coming together and learning and growing together. It's a beautiful experience for them to be together and uh, we see a, a movement to, uh, towards the liberation. We follow the charism of Holy Cross, focusing, educating heart and mind. And we work as a Holy Cross family the motto of the school is truth shall set you free and we have every year a running team in order to enhance the the whole process of teaching and learning 
and the students to ponder over some particular theme. For the, uh, therefore, we have proposed this year as practice, perfect and perform. We are happy the way it is functioning, but we aim higher every day or every, every year. We do bring in a lot of changes according to the time and according to the needs. We also bring a lot of spirituality in the life, uh, fear of God, respect for one another, and uh, dignity of human labor, the value of cooperation, support, consent for the poor. These sort of uh, values are given uh, top more priority or importance in our day-to-day -day life of the school. Let the little children come to me and do not stop them because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I assure you that whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on each of them and Practically all the membership, except for four conferences of ours who are from this Northeast India, all others, all of us are missionaries in nature. Because we come from the southern part of India, they have decided to live here, work here, and die here. And that's our enthusiasm of missionary in nature.